Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more Gran Turismo 7 and another part of our career mode. Today, we continue our quest to complete our car collection. And today, we are heading into the cafe to find out what Luca wants us to do next. Uh, so, we're getting into Japanese rally base cars. And uh, we are going to be unlocking the Subaru WRX, the Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution and the Toyota GR Yaris from 2020. So one of the newest cars that we've picked up. So here we go. Uh, some Japanese rally based cars. Rallies are races in which cars built upon uh, production models compete against each other. As the races don't take place on circuits, drivers tackle dirt roads, snow and other challenging surfaces. As you can manage, uh, imagine, base cars for rallying need to be pretty powerful and you're gonna need to collect three of them. They're all 4WD so four wheel drives uh, all four wheels are driven this is known as uh, awd or all wheel drive we're talking about some really nice motors here and i can't wait for you to bring them back to show me okay so this is probably going to be quite tough because of the the glitch at the moment in um the 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 dirt tires or snow tires not appearing on the the cars when you're racing these circuits but we'll try our best as always and uh, we'll see how we get on. Now, we might have to actually go and buy one of them in it in order to compete in this. I'm not entirely sure. But we'll find out. So, we've got the Americas or we've got Asia Oceana. Uh, why don't we start off in America? We'll do the Trial Mountain Circuit. We've been there before. Um, we need a four-wheel drive. Have we? Oh, we have got a couple, actually. We've got the GTR. That's a 502. Oh goodness, we need a 600. So we're going to have to go and uh, suit this up a little bit. And hopefully we're able to get the required amount here. Now, what 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 do we want? Do we want um, rally tyres? I mean, I'm, I'm assuming... You, well, maybe they don't exist. I suppose we get the soft tyres on there. That's going to get us to 565. Okie dokie. Um, the, the transmission, that's pretty good. We've got a suspension there. That actually takes off stuff. Torque takes off stuff. Don't, honestly, don't know how we're going to get up to 600, really. Um, so that's 578, that's 578. Which one's better? Drilled discs or slotted discs? Let's go for the drilled. So that's going to get us up a little bit. The racing silence is pretty good, apparently. That's going to get us up a little bit more. Ooh, 594. Okay, let's do that. I know we're spending a lot of money here, but I do think we have to do it in order to get a car that's going to be good enough. Get a sports computer in there, very good. And then filter, try and get it up there. About 610. Pressing the wrong buttons, unfortunately. Cool. Get some weight reduction in there as well. Very good. Okay, so 627. That should be enough to, to get us going. The Trial Mountain Circuit is one that I think we should be fine at anyway. So let's head out there. Let's get into the race, and here we go. So we've got to finish third or higher here. This is actually on a circuit, so this, this is probably going to be our best chance. I have no idea what the Australian circuit is going to have to offer. But... As we come down into the first corner, that's pretty good. Now go around the outside, nice. Oh, 
lovely around the outside again and this is a good start that's not so good though we need to do a lot better than that around the corners Okay. Whoa. A little bit of contact there. Not far off third place now. Through the tunnel we go. Oh, there's a big corner coming up here. Let's get past one. So there's second place just ahead of us. First place not too far ahead either. Yeah, this is good. Friendly nudge there. Chance to overtake both of them on this start finish straight. Very, very nice. So into the lead at the end of lap one. Now, how good can we do on this second lap here? Start to the lap. This is good stuff. Nice driving so far. I don't want to hit the barrier though. Ooh. It's nasty, but we are okay. I was thinking, can we get through this without any mistakes? But you know me, always go too heavy in uh, certain corners. should be in a great position now we're actually so much faster on the straights for once I think the weight reduction has, has done us wonders actually so coming up to this lovely corner Going a little bit later this time it's pretty good 5.1 seconds up on our previous time. Nice. Final couple of corners to go. So here we come, up to the line, it's going to be a very comfortable victory in the end by more than 8 seconds and we cross the line and there it is, a brilliant victory, we get the car, that was very nice and how much money are we going to make from this as well, 20 grand, very good, so that pays for quite a bit of our tunage, of course we spent probably about 100 grand on it in total but we get the free car which is good and let's move on that is what we're talking about lovely right let's move on then and heading over to Oceania and Asia once again so we've got the Kyoto driving park or Mount Panorama circuit let's uh, get into this one let's see how we get on two laps of the Kyoto Driving Park. 
Again, it looks all right. So it doesn't seem like we're going into full-on rallies yet. Perhaps we're just unlocking the cars for now. Yeah, good start. go They're all lovely around the outside of the Yaris there down the hill we go this is a lovely circuit lovely high speed to it Already up to third, we are just so strong in this car. We're going to be straight into the lead here. Very nice, so there you go, there's just the end of the first lap. Final hairpin. Oh, I thought we were gonna absolutely smash that first lap, not quite. Oh, and we've been crashed into. And sent round. So we're gonna have to be on some sort of comeback trail now. In the second lap. Somehow that was the fastest lap still. That shows how much quicker we are than all of these guys. We've tuned up this car a treat. Nice. Coming around the outside already back up to third. Lovely. And up to the first split. And we are already 2.3 seconds quicker than we were this time last lap. Tight. Lovely. Down the hill we go, another second gain there. A bit of contact with the wall, unfortunately. We head back up the hill. Wow, I absolutely love this circuit. This will be a dream in a sports car. Proper sports car later down the line. Maybe we should send F1 here. There we go. Nice. So here we come into the final hairpin. And this time we want to get on the power too early lovely absolutely perfect and here we come up to the line it's going to be another brilliant victory another 20,000 credits in the bank and another free car lovely very very good okay 20 grand in the bank as I say and we're not having to restart any of them so far, which is good. We get the Toyota Yaris 2020, which that will help us out greatly. So let's uh, head to Australia then. And the Mount Panorama Circuit. This looks like a beautiful track as well. It's a shorter one though. A little bit narrower. Lovely. 
Great first move. Doesn't want to make this too narrow for ourselves. breaking into that corner there. This is definitely a much narrower circuit. Feels like a Tour de France stage <laughs> more than a, a road race. Smashing it so far. Got a chance down the inside here. Very nice, up to third now, so that's going to be the car. Of course, this is the start of lap two now. As we reach the top of the hill. Do nicely. There we go. Now around the final corner. This is going to be a very, very fast lap. Two twenty-nine. Let's see how much we can improve on that in this lap. Should be able to comfortably make it past these guys. Go to the inside, perfect. 0.1 seconds ahead of the Delta already. That was a bit mean. <laughs> but we'll take it, it slowed us down enough. Close to the inside there. It's okay. Little drift around that corner, that was okay though. Look at the views, they are simply stunning. Straight on there accidentally. I was too busy looking at the views. Okay. Still five seconds ahead of our nearest challenger. So we head down the hill, a couple of corners to go. Hey, there's a kangaroo over there. <laughs> Love it. I think we can probably take this flat out. Yeah. We certainly can't break like that again. Might get uh, disqualified here. Might even get overtaken. Look at this. Here we come then. Over the line. What's going to happen? Hey, we win it. We'll settle for that. Very, very good. Okay, so another 20 grand in the bank then. 
another 7.9 miles and we have completed our collection of rally cars. Beautiful. So let's head back to Luca and see how he feels about our wonderful collection <coughs> of rally cars, Japanese rally cars. Hopefully he's nice and proud of us. Let's head back. Hey, that's a lovely shop. Very nice. So, look, they're very happy. This completes your Japanese rally base cars. Who's Jeremy? Once you've collected your rewards, I've got some stories to tell you about the cars. So, we get a three star roulette ticket. Let's keep going then. So, he's going to tell us their four wheel drives again, isn't he? Rallying is a form of high speed racing that takes place on closed off public roads. The pinnacle of the sport is the World Rally Championship. It's an incredibly popular competition, one that any lover of motorsport is sure to know a thing or two about. Rally cars are capable of incredible speeds and on just about any kind of surface. It's a truly breathtaking sight. Japanese manufacturers have been producing cars for international rallies since the 60s, uh, but they are perhaps best known for their exploits in the 1990s. It was Nero, where the key to victory was having a four-wheel drive car with a turbocharged engine, and this was something that Toyota, Mitsubishi, and Subaru seemed to do better than anyone else. All three of these four-wheel drive sports cars have more than earned their rightful place in history. And they are. So, show your custom wing. What's this going to be about then? Um, go to customize cars at GT Auto and fit a custom wing set. Before you take on the Asia Oceana Championship, I'd like it to tune your car. Go to Customize Cars in GD Auto and select Custom Parts, then Wing to fit a custom wing. It doesn't matter which car you use, but custom wing sets aren't available for all models. If you go to the shop and a custom wing set isn't available, try using a different car. If you're not sure which to use, I'd suggest the Nissan R32 GTR you collected previously, which is the one that I've got. A custom wing set will definitely give you a car souped up appearance. Come back here once the wing set has been fitted. Okay, well, let's go and take this car away and uh, get a custom wing on it. He did suggest this one. So we'll go with what he suggested. We know Luca knows his stuff about cars. So let's get out there. Let's go and get our wing. And we'll make our way back to the cafe. Right. Uh, first of all, though, let's go and have a look at what rewards we've got. Of course, the uh, three-star roulette ticket. It's going to be nice. Uh, lots of J Japanese cars unlocked and mostly... Um, Japanese is what we've got in our collection these days so let's head into that let's grab ourselves our three-star roulette ticket you can see there are some uh, great rewards here I'd like that big pile of Wonga though let's see what we get oh it's a little pile of Wonga but that's still gonna be five grand is it yeah that's nice that'll do so we need to go to GT Auto and then to the customized car section. Sorry about that folks. Uh, it seemed like there was a police helicopter or something out. Um, but anyway, uh, we want to go into custom parts and a wing and we can go wingless. We can go type A, type B or custom wing set. Um, so we can have a high wing, we can have a low wing. I think I quite like the high wing. Um, what end plates do we want? I mean, this is this is awesome. There's uh, a lot of nice little features in there, isn't there? That looks quite spicy. I like that. Purchase and install. And there you go, all looking good. Um, so is that, is that what we wanted? Hey, we have completed that, so that's fine. So now we need to 
go and show our custom wing to Luca. I'm sure he'll be very, very impressed. So let's head back. Show him our new wing. Another menu challenge successfully completed. The car looks completely different with that custom wing, doesn't it? And what's more, it will allow you to adjust downforce. You can adjust rear downforce by going to aerodynamics and car settings. Try increasing downforce for technical courses and decreasing it for higher speed. There's all sorts of other parts available in GT Auto as well, so you can customise to your horse, heart's content. Now then, next up is the o Asia Oceana Championship. It's time to put your tuned up baby to the test. Very good, we got another three star uh, roulette ticket, which is good. Let's head to the circuit. Uh, so the recommended car is the GR Supra RZ20. Uh, not entirely sure why that one, but we have got the Red Bull Ring, Nürburgring, and uh, Dragon Trail to be uh, unlocked after this, which is awesome. So we're doing the Asia um, Oceana Championship. Your goal is to finish in the top three. Good luck out there. Okie dokie then. Okay, here we go then. In the Asia Oceana Championship. Um, let's go and grab our gift. Now it's said to choose the uh, Suburu. Where is it? Do we have it? Is it this one that it wanted us to? I don't think it was that one, was it? Or did, did we have to go and buy that potentially? I'm really not sure. Right, let's uh, go and get our three-star ticket. See what we've won this time. That looks like a big pile of cash. And a weight reduction there. And a nice little uh, car on the left there. Oh, I thought we'd won it there. But we have won uh, uh, a nitro system for the Lexus RCF. And that's uh, 100 grand that's worth, which is very, very nice. Okay. Um, now then, let's have a little look and check what sort of PP we're going to need for this. 600, so I think we're going to be okay. So let's get into it. Three races, this one. Asia Oceana Championship, three laps around the Tokyo Expressway track we know very very well indeed um, we can go into car settings we've got soft tires detailed settings we can change the the downforce now I assume aerodynamics wow there you go I mean there's loads of stuff you can get involved in but we're not gonna deal with any of that <laughs> I'm nervous. Oh, ooh, 16 cars here. So this is going to be quite the comeback to get into that top three. So here we go. We're ready to rock and roll here in the Tokyo Speedway Expressway, not Speedway. Good round the outside should be fairly comfortable to get through the field in this car. Big corner coming up, of course. Have to make sure we break nice and early for it. Let's 
take a tighter line there, that's beautiful. Nice. Looks like we're through. And again. So already up to 10th, but uh, still quite a way to go to get up into that top three. 11 and a half seconds off the lead as it stands. So we don't want any contacts with the wall. Oh, that was okay. 10 seconds now. What's that lead? around the corner as we make our big impact. Uh, Lenoir. Going to go down the inside, that's good. And the Nissan Fair Lady there. Yeah, hold it, hold it, good. Down the inside, that's beautiful. Lovely kiss against the wall there, but should be up to fourth place here. Using our straight line speed, and that was a lovely fast lap there. We'll break down, We've got Gallo just ahead of us, and then Yamanaka and Miyazano up top. Should be able to get them by the end of this lap, you would imagine. With the pace that we are displaying here. It's breaking down into this corner. I'm sure that we're getting through these corners unscathed. Very good on the Honda there. Bit of contact up against the wall, just lost the back end there as we went through. It's right there. Through the tunnel we go 1.4 seconds quicker than last time out. It's pretty much flat out now. Little contact with the wall, but Still managing to keep our speed nice and high, up and around the 150 mark. Turn the long way around, that's good. Okay. Second and first, just ahead of us. 2.1 seconds quicker, but this is a, a technical section that you be wary of. A bit of contact again, there's the uh, the bullet train. How are we going to be able to get them on the straights here as we start our final lap of this race? Race one of the championship. Oh, that was okay. Still there though. Yamanaka. Right in our slipstream now. As we head through the first tunnel. Might have a move on us here. Nice and early. Breaking. There we go, we slide under the Subaru there and we are through. Good, nice corner. Nice overtaking there. 
and uh, this should be a fairly comfortable victory from here on out. Pretty much flat out through there. Slowest part of the circuit, but we're through it nice and safely. Now up the hill we go. Kiss of the wall there, but nothing to slow us down. We're actually half a second up on our previous best time through there. Dab on the brakes. This car is handling like a dream through these corners. Now we come up to the finish line. It's going to be victory in our first race. There's the checkered flag. And we lead the championship. A very good start. There we go. And we also get 25 grand for that, I think. Yes, very good. Just for winning that race, we've uh, got the one star roulette ticket. For. Uh, Completing the daily workout, and let's uh, head on to the next race then. So we've got the Fuji Speedway now. We struggled with this circuit last time. I do think we will be better this time though, better equipped with the car. But again, starting in 16th position, we're going to have to work our way up. And we are away. Straight away a chance at this Civic. It is quite a slow start to the lap, this. There are parts of the track that we are very, very strong through. to take too many risks. Bump on the back. We'll pass the Genesis there. It's already up to 10th here. Very, very good. Bit of curb there. Yeah, that's a tough corner, that one. So that might cost us the race victory this time. Although this section is going to really favour us. Soft tyres, a little bit of argy bargy on the way through there. Here we are at the end of lap one, up to ninth as it stands. 12.5 seconds behind the leader, Meazono. Should be able to make a couple of moves here. Our straight line speed. That's nice. First corner coming up. Fast. That's a little bit wide. Don't want to get onto the gravel. No, we're okay. Could have been a disaster, but we're okay. Up to seventh now. Apparently four seconds slower than we were this time last lap. Which is a bit worrying. That's good. Okay, very good. 
flying around now. Keep it on the track. That's the way to do. Oh well. Can't get going. The acceleration's gone. No idea what was going on there. That could cost us the championship, that. No prisoners now. Is our car taking damage? Oh dear. That was a bad mistake. I was trying to look at the car, but... I not the corner coming up. Oh dear. Right, it's going to have to be a perfect final lap then. If we want to keep ourselves in this championship... Pass this willow. Six seconds behind the leaders. Get nice and slow into the first corner. Accelerate out of it. Cockabun. Be a nice easy overtake on him. Go to the outside. Nicely done. 2.3 seconds slower than our previous lap through there, which I just find hard to believe. There's no way we were two seconds quicker through there. Now then, there's the two leaders, Yamanaka and Miyazono. Big corner coming up here. Gonna make sure we absolutely smash it. And that's what we do. Perfect. That is what we're talking about. Turns down the inside and we make it. So Mia's on now. And we've made that as well. Beautiful move down the inside and now into the final corner. And we know our straight line speed is better, but he makes the move way back through. We undercut him there, and it is going to be two out of two. We can see the checkered flag being waved up ahead, and we're now flying towards the finish line. And that is victory number two, and almost certainly the championship in the bag. Brilliant. Very, very good. That's another 25 grand in the bank. I've no idea what the overall bonus is going to be, but we've pretty much paid for all of the upgrades, which is good. So, next race, final race. In Australia, and we know how tight the circuit is, this is going to be so tough. But we've just raced it, so... Should be in good stead. So here we go. This has got to be an absolute perfect run if we want to be winning the championship here and now. No excuses this time. Good couple of moves. We've just got vast superior straight line speed to a lot of the, the back marker cars.
good. Already up to 12th. But yeah, this can be really, really tricky, this section. not good. Little mistake there. Just so far behind the leaders here. Okay. Big long straight. This is where we can make our advantage pay. Good. Up to 10th now. The hell we go, we know we can take this absolutely flat out. Got to break a little bit earlier. Don't want any chance of making the corner though. This time we manage it beautifully. So nine seconds is the lead. Gap between us and the lead, I should say. So that's going to be the end of lap one. It's a pretty good lap. Up to seventh now. We got a nice big long straight here. We should get up to at least fifth. Right in a slipstream. Go to the outside onto the grass a little bit there. Perfect as we head down the hill. Okay, we are through. Up to fourth now. Cockabun. Not far up the hill. There he is, so that's for the podium place. And you can see first place not so far ahead now. We should actually make it here. chance now to go past both of them on the straight and that is that we are into the lead and we have now got a lap to ourselves before we win this championship and it really has been a strong performance I can't believe how well we've performed to be honest and how much the competition this car is just an absolute beauty now then we need to see how much we can get out of the car on this final lap gonna push ourselves to the extreme already two seconds ahead of our nearest challenger Yamanaka we come through that's a 228 flat straight away we actually head off the circuit that's not good that is not good Trying too hard into turn one and we've thrown it all away. So now hard work to come to get back into this. So we lost nearly six seconds there. main beams on so we'll head down 
Now we're gonna finish this race in the night. I think main beams are what we need actually. Look at the view, absolutely awesome. Too many mistakes now. So, big long straight coming up now. As we can see, the city lights in the distance. And we know that we've got this championship in the bag. Had to work hard on this final lap because we struggled at the start of it. And we have actually got somebody right behind us here. Yamanaka, he's looking like he could be quite racy going into this final corner. And we break down into the final corner and it is going to be victory once again absolutely brilliant episode today we have driven beautifully and that is another championship in the bag so 25 grand for the race win what's it going to be for the championship 50 grand well there you go awesome and we unlock a bmw which one do we want? This one. Okay, so we get the M3 Sport Evolution. 1989, a 455 PP car. Very nice. Good to have a BM in the collection as well. Up to collector level 12. And Luca's going to be just delighted, isn't he? There you go. Brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. So... Let's uh, move on then. So what have we got? We'll go and have a look at the, the gift. It's a one star roulette ticket. And there's a big pile of money. Oh, a gold bar as well. Some quite decent prizes here. What are we gonna get? Nah, uh, the little pile. It'll be two and a half grand, won't it? Oh, five grand actually. We'll start for that. It's not bad from a a two star, uh, a one star, sorry. Right, let's go and see Luca. Well done for winning the Asia Oceana Championship. I've got your reward all ready to go. So we get the Red Bull Ring, we get Dragon Trail, and uh, the Nurburgring, which is awesome. Uh, we want to get the BMW M3 collection. We have already unlocked one of them by the looks of it. Um, and uh, we will be getting a reward. So we want to unlock uh, all of the M3s for the BMW collection. And that will be in the next episode. We'll just have a quick look at the Legends part of the game. It doesn't look like any of that is really updated. Um nothing we can do there of course we haven't got the the funds for that just yet um quick look at used cars before we finish off uh, mini cooper there okay bmw z8 i mean that's a bond car that's a bond car tempted to to buy that straight away that's uh of course the the bond car from the world is not enough it is a updated version of that um, but yeah that, that's pretty cool it has got a decent amount of mileage on it and it is fairly expensive 257 I don't know if we can actually go and buy the BMW Z8 from here yeah, we have got an invitation though where's the invitation for Citroen again is it the supercar that they want me to buy again Yes, it is, and unfortunately, I cannot 
own it at the moment. Um, so we'll head to BMW and see if you can buy the Z8. Uh, well, there's the M3. There's the Z801, and it is 300,000 new, so don't think we want to be buying it used. But uh, that's cool. Let's see what, what colours you can get it in. Can you get it in the... Yeah, that's the sort of colour, isn't it? That one there. Nice. Okay, right. Uh, well, that is where we're going to leave it for today. If you have enjoyed this video, then make sure you leave a like down below. Subscribe for plenty more Gran Turismo content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.